everyone my name is parag and i am here to tell you something about a design problem by using the wsm method so numerical is like this a design a rectangular beam section for a simply reinforced beam of 7 meter span and having a uniformly distributed load of the 35 kN per meter run by a working stress method of design use m20 grade of concrete and fe 415 steel rods so guys we have some data like the length equals to 7 meter which is the length of the span of a beam ideal uniformly distributed load is 35 kN per meter is has been provided to our the overall the span so we have m20 grade of concrete and fe 415 steel so from that we can calculate the sigma cbc and sigma st which is 7 newton per mm square and 230 newton per mm square so from that we have to first calculate as we know that the modular ratio is one of the assumptions of the working stress method so m equals to 280 upon 3 sigma cbc so which is given as 33.33 after that we have to determine the r which is given by sigma st upon sigma cbc then k is m upon m plus r then j 1 minus k by 3 and q is 1 by 2 into j k into sigma cbc okay so guys for the design parameter you have to define all the basic parameter of the working stress method if you are not getting this parameter then please watch my first video of the working stress method introduction and in this video i have provided all the what these parameters know each and everything about okay so maximum bending then this is our first step after that maximum bending moment for the given uniformly distributed load is calculated by wl square by 8 why it is wl square by 8 because here uniformly distributed load is given now let me tell you one thing that if the bending moment is known there is if the no any bending moment you can if you don't know any bending moment or any moment then you can further cannot proceed for the design portion for the design moment is essential okay so first of all here the udl is provided that's why i'm taking the udl calc bending moment which is given by wl square by it then i got the value in kilo newton in a meter so i convert it in a newton into meter by multiplying the 10 to power 6 to the particular value okay now this is what our the step number one after that since this design problem and during design always consider a balance section always we during the designing section we consider uh, the section as a balance section so our balance section is given word moment of res uh, resistance we are uh, uh, getting less q into bd square so we are uh, placing this value q of 0 0.9 to bd square since breadth and depth of the beam is not defined so the it depends upon the designer that what value what he take to take account experience yes definitely because from that you have to take one value it is depend upon the experience guys okay if you go in examination we can write put this this, this, this like this but during the main design portion this is one of the main design problem okay so then in this main design problem b and d are depend upon what the structure define as if the structure is having the large span the depth so depth we can increase it depend upon the design it depend upon the structure okay so this b and d parameter it depend upon your experience and your structure now for a balance now as we are considering the balance section so we for a balance section we assume d as a uh, b as a d by 2 okay so it is what something the experienced people to, uh, talks about if you are not experienced then get the enduring design take the b as a half of the depth okay then so movement of res uh, resist uh, mr is like 0 0.9 multiplied by d by 2 into d square so put the mr value uh, mr that means q value okay and after getting uh, this uh, bend maximum bending value you put it down you over here multiply by 10 to the power 6 mr equals to compare this with the so i'm really very sorry for this sound okay the we got the this moment we calculate this moment so this moment compare with this mr okay so q into bd square so b is is, is converted by d by 2 so we got the depth now this depth we decade so as a relation b equals to d by 2 put it down depth over there you got the b okay now we having b and we had d we having the value d so this dimension we have what is the exactly main uh, uh, what we can say the what is the main function of the design is to getting the dimension of the particular beam particular section and determine the steel provided in the particular section also define what are the serviceability what are the durability of the particular structure now as we are complete up to the b and d further proceed like b we know d we know we getting somewhat round up figure over there one 390 
90.5 we are taking 390 and d is a 781 so we taking 780 okay so now from that we have to determine the area of steel which is given like a mr upon sigma st j into d okay so mr we know here sigma st we calculate 230 it is given j is 0.9 and uh, uh, the d is we calculated right now so this is what area of steel we have to provide in this b by d that means 390 by 780 of size of the uh, beam of the uh, beam or rectangular beam we have to provide the 1327.mm mm square of the ast in the particular uh, beam now further next uh, step is like suppose now we got the area of steel okay this is what area of steel we have to provide from the area of steel we uh, now it is depend on you how much uh, number of bar you have to provide okay and what are the what dimension of the bar you are going to provide so now here i have to provide the 20 mm of the bar so first you have to determine the area of one bar what is the area of one bar is 301 for how the area has come like pi by 4 into d square okay pi by 4 into what is the uh, uh, bar you provide that the dimension of that bar taking the square so you got the area of one bar so area of one bar you have to divide this area of one bar to the 137 that means a total area so this total area of steel divided by the area of one bar so you get the number of bars okay 4.22 so we are uh, equals to as a let me round up as make as a five bar okay so providing the five bar of the 20 mm diameter in the over this rectangular section of the 390 by 780 okay and after that multiply this 5 multiply with um, uh, to the this area of one bar so you get this area and uh, we require sorry we required area is 1327 but uh, from our calculation the area of steel is like covering 1570 hence what are the okay condition here what are the set check is to be here like what are the requirement of the steel you for you the product of the um, that that means the calculation is coming is always greater than the requirement required area okay because why we are getting this area this calculation from the balance section because we assume it as a balance section okay so definitely so we getting this value after this what uh, exactly 390 upon uh, this section uh, now we got the number of bar now we got the area of steel now we got the dimension too but we have to check from the design b okay this check is important so during this check what we have to assume moment of area of compression zone about a neutral axis is equals to moment of area about a tension zone about the neutral axis this is what the check okay so the give it is check is given by moment of area of compression member about a neutral axis given by bn square by 2 equals to moment of area about a tension zone about the neutral axis given by modulo ratio ast into depth minus neutral axis so from that you got the neutral axis okay so it is 240 by 60 now critical neutral axis is given by k into d so okay so you have to get a k you, we know the value of k over here this is the value of k 0.288 and we know the value of d so we get the critical now compare this condition satisfied over here yes this is under under n for over n for section okay n is greater than nc that means our depth of neutral axis is greater than critical depth of neutral axis so it is clear that the concrete will get permissible strain before steel so so mr equals to moment of pressure equals to b n sigma c b c by 2 d minus n by 3 put all that are hence our mr is greater than equal so here steel is uh, okay at at this point so this value this this check and this check is getting same both are coming in under or in for section so that's it our design is safe and now you can construct it you can implement in your particular site so that's why with the help of the working stress method you can design a particular beam so hope you like my video please watch please give some uh, like sub please subscribe my youtube channel and visit my this uh, website civilnotes.com for your for the information and i'll always upload uh, the you uh, video on civil engineering keep watching keep learning and bye bye thank you